Hi, hi everyone. Uh, so today in this prob uh, in this video, we are going to solve this uh, problem container with most water. So according to the problem statement, like you are given an integer array height. Okay, so height is a name of the array. Okay, and its length is n, and there are n vertical lines drawn such as the uh, such that the two endpoints of the height line are i zero and i n. So basically, it's saying that uh, every uh, element has some height given. Okay, so as you can see here, here it is given is one, and it is going from zero to one. So what we find that uh, find two lines uh, that together uh, with the x-axis con and uh, from a container such that the container contains the most water. Okay. So we have to find the the the, the two um, bars where the most of the water can be stored right so here you can see like this uh, is the last bar and this is the second bar and the second bar has a height of 8 and la last bar has a height of 7 and in between there and there is one two three four five six seven seven unit space okay so here if we can consider is seven into seven height is height would be seven and width would be seven okay so um, that's what how can we uh, uh, come to conclusion that the most amount of the water is stored in this uh, range of the bars okay so given our our the array the array is the uh, height of the bars okay so now uh, what we are going to do is like suppose uh, if you want to wanted to solve this problem uh, we can uh, do with the each uh, each bars comparison right right because uh, like we can uh, do one for loop and inside that another for loop and compare each bar pair okay each bar pair but that would result into the o of n square uh, so that time complexity would be same um, would be high okay so we can do it in the uh, we should do it more in the linear uh, time complexity and how we can do it is we can use the two pointer problems uh, with the two help of the two pointer so i uh, let me explain you uh, how we can achieve that okay so suppose we i'm going to getting rid of this all okay uh, suppose uh, for this example um, there is a tank okay and uh, this is the bars okay So now, uh, what uh, is uh, here the scenario is, so certain height is given of that bar. So suppose the first and the last bar are um, it's almost same, then we would get the maximum uh, water storage in this bar range. Okay. So what uh, we are going to do is we are keeping going to keep this uh, left side as a uh, uh, L and the right side as a R pointer. Okay. So what we are going to do is whenever we are uh, going to first uh, compare it with the for left and the right if um, uh, we can compare them okay so we can calculate what amount of uh, water can be stored here what unit of the water can be stored here and then uh, we would uh, do is compare whether the left is uh, greater than right or not okay uh, if not uh, uh, means like if uh, both are equal then uh, we can uh, shift our right to here okay uh, shift our right to here if like the right was bigger then how we could we could shift our left here increment our lift uh, left here okay 
so in the same way mm, uh, if like uh, both are equal then uh, we need to uh, decrement the right and in case right is uh, bigger then uh, we need to increment left and in case left is increment uh, uh, greater then we need to uh, decrement uh, this right okay so the reason here for uh, is because like um, if you see uh, so suppose uh, this can uh, this bar can be uh, any long right uh, it can up, uh, up to like uh, let's say 100 uh, it is up to 100 okay so it, it was up to 100 and the second bar is also up to 100 okay okay so first we did uh, and this uh, we kept this left and th we kept this up right okay so this was uh, let's say suppose it was 7 then 1 2 3 4 for 7 into 4 would be 28 okay but like 100 into 1 would be um, 100 so their capacity this bar uh, bar range capacity would be uh, greater than this so how we are um, going to make sure that like we are going to compare the most tallest bars okay range uh, uh, all the range okay so so this is compa uh, this is uh, this is considered as one unit two unit three unit four unit okay so first of all whenever it was left and then it uh, and this was right what we did is uh, we did a, a calculation of the storage capacity uh, so it's, it was one unit two unit three unit four unit okay into seven seven for the 28 so great so now what we uh, are going to uh, check in the next loop is like whether this um, uh, whether our right is greater than left or not if not then we are going to decrement the uh, right anyway anyhow okay so when after decrementing it which we are going to check what is it is suppose it it was six okay so one unit two unit three unit six into three is equal to 18 so 18 is much lesser than this okay so still our uh, uh, our variable which has store the maximum uh, storage area uh, would consider this result okay then we would come here okay and uh, same here uh, two uh, two units and let's say consider is height to be two and two two into four okay but now when we come to the first uh, first bar uh, which was almost same uh, let c consider that both are same though both are 100 100 and there is one unit 100 into 1 is equal to 100 but like this bar range has the highest capacity okay so they uh, so uh, that way uh, we can achieve this uh, result okay so in our case uh, this bar was uh, very small so um, we uh, did was we compared it with the right and yes right was great so we moved left okay so uh, with the left we are now say, getting this bar and then we are uh, comparing a new storage area okay uh, making a new storage area and then storing it and um, whether first we are checking if it, if it was greater than the first uh, storage area okay so how we are going to do this is with the help of the uh, while loop okay so first what we are going to do is we let l equals to 0 and let r equals to height height length minus 1 so last index okay the last index it is understood uh, so so uh, there will be also a, a variable result okay where we initiate it with the zero while so we are making sure that l and r are don't cross each other okay so we should stop our uh, loop So now uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to first calculate the uh, width uh, so let's say tanker 
bit okay so how we are going to calculate a is like we are going to do r minus l so it will give us the unit okay the number of the unit which is in the between this um, bar range okay now what we uh, we need is the height okay sorry not the height but the uh, uh, we would need a uh, area so we would not increment the area here so what we are going to do is like um, we are now getting to max max would be zero this would store the result okay uh, and uh, after getting the uh, width of the area so then we need to uh, calculate the height of the uh, tanker so which would be the greater height means the minimum height we need the minimum height right because like after one uh, two is not there in this bar and the water may spill out okay so the minimum height is one so we can fill up the water up to the one okay so in this case uh, what we can uh, do is like um, so the height L is less than height R then we need to increment this L okay container height equals to 0 okay uh, I need to uh, assign the height container height would be our else uh, container height would be right and we in case of right we would going to we are going to decrement that now uh, let's say there is a variable like uh, So now what we are going to do is if like this max uh, we are going to store the result uh, in the max so max would uh, would be equals to uh, container height into a tanker with actually I blundered with the name um, and now it's tanker and it's container sorry uh, for this so, but uh, you should understand it so uh, okay so whatever the uh, their calculation uh, multiple product is uh, we will going to store it in the max so now what we are going to do is like we will compare like if uh, the max is like uh, greater than um, uh, the result then uh, we would assign this result the value of the max okay now uh, return
result okay okay so now uh, let's go to the goal so we are initiating l with the zero uh, r with the um, last one okay uh, last last element of the height uh, and the result with the zero so result will be uh, basically storing all the capacity the my maximum capacity of the water okay so while l is smaller than r we are calculating the tanker width which is r minus l and let, let max equal to zero this max is a temporary variable where we store the container into uh, tanker height or tanker width okay container height and the so now uh, tanker height is uh, zero if like height of the uh, left side is uh, smaller than the height of the right uh, side then we would uh, compare uh, uh, consider the, its height left one height okay in this case zero into one so we consider one we would increment the l plus uh, l plus plus so next time our uh, uh, left is going to the next element and the so if not then else we are what we are doing uh, so in this condition whether height is greater than uh, zero or like equals to uh, both height height of left and r equals to r same in that case also we are decrementing the r and you already know the reason uh, so uh, decrement the r and the height is now considered as a um, height of the right hand side okay so now uh, what we are going to do is like left hand side and the right hand side we are going to uh, calculate the which was worth the small so right was small in this case and right uh, and the tanker width tanker width would be l minus r r minus l sorry and that is the space uh, units one two three four five six seven eight in this case okay because like uh, uh, suppose if you see this case like and there is um, the and the r is now let's say suppose height ln minus one because uh, like uh, there is zero one uh, zero one two oh, zero one one two three four five six seven eight so this can be eight and this is one so eight minus one would be seven units okay so seven let's uh, count this one two three four five six and seven so this is seven unit okay so now we are multiplying them and storing the result in the max and max is um, uh, comparing max is greater than or result or not okay uh, and then uh, uh, if max is greater than result then result is equal to max and in the end we are returning the result so first we are going to run this okay now we are going to submit this to see the okay it's done so yes so this is how we can do it in the linear comp time complexity okay so yes and the space complexity would be zero or uh, in the order of uh, means like constant order of one so thank you uh, for watching this video i hope i was able to explain the you know, the problem very clearly or otherwise you can go through the code once again and just imagine what is going on and you will automatically means like uh, get okay